Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shyla, and oh, that sounded so fearful. Let me do it again. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shyla, and if it is your first time here, then just welcome. Um, today's video is going to be a story time about how me and one of my best friends accidentally got arrested. Accidentally got arrested. A joke at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, stay tuned. I'm also going to be um doing this makeup look while I tell you it's not really going to be a tutorial, um, because I'm not really a tutorial girl. My makeup is not perfect. Um, but it works for me. Okay, so let's get on to the story time right now. Um, and you may be asking yourself, how does someone get accidentally arrested? Well, I'm gonna tell you. So, feel free to pause the video right here. Go and get yourself a drink, cause. Because, you know, I got mine. We're just going to... Just a bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. So, just a little bit. Oh, I'm going to spill it. Okay. To be honest, that seemed like a little bit much. But... Oh, I can't take it back now. Feel free to go and pause the video right here. Go and get yourself some snacks. Go and get yourself a drink. And then come back and listen to a little bedtime story, if you will. Um, I've also got my snacks down here. <laughs> so we are prepared. We're prepared for today. Nothing less. So go ahead and do that and we'll get straight into the story. All right, so let's just have a sip. That's good. This is so f pretty. Yeah. Like, it's giving. It's giving tropical holiday. Shouldn't be in Auckland right now. Should be on the beach. Should be on a yacht. Should be. Nah. Okay. Let me shut up. Um, I just did my brows off camera. Um, just because it just takes too long to do it. And nobody wants to see that. That shit is boring. This is the silliest thing that I've ever done. By far. Top of the list. Silliest thing that I've ever done. I already know that. So I don't need you in the comments being like, what the hell is wrong? I know that. Welcome to my silly life. And if you haven't seen my TikTok story times, then I don't know what you expect from me over here. Be so for real. How did I... Me and my friend accidentally get arrested. Well, it all started as a f normal day. Oh, I better stop swearing. Started as a normal day. Um, let me just start this by saying we were very young at the time. We were very, very young at the time. We were pretty much babies. I'm sure, we were like around 19. So fresh out of high school. Had this newfound independence. We both had our first cars. We had our first jobs. Everything was sweet, right? And so we wanted to start going to the gym, start taking our health more seriously. You know, go on the up and up, glow up. Glow up vibes. Um, and so one day we were talking about it, we we're like, oh, like, let's go and sign up at the gym. And um, on this day, we had been signed up for like, I want to say a week or two weeks. We were... Um, we were going to the gym, we had our own, we, I don't know who we thought we were, 19 years old, we had a PT. <laughs> wow, we had a PT. Um, let me, side note, I did not really like him. I did not really like him. Um, like he was, he was okay. He was okay, but I think also at the time we were, because we were so young, it was hard for us to say no so yeah one day we we just decided to meet up and go um to the gym so that we could sign up there like we i was literally in jeans like a pair of jeans and a top and we we're only there to sign up like we weren't there for a workout no he was like oh um the, like the person signing us up like oh do you do you require having a pt um and we, the PT was like already there in the background sort of. Um, 
And because he was already standing there, we didn't really know how to say no. We ended up saying yeah for um, a couple of sessions and like we'll see how we go basically. Um, so I think it was three sessions that we signed up for. And I think this this day that we got arrested um, was actually the third session. So, so yeah, anyways, um, it was the night before the, our last like PT session. And we were both talking and we we're like, you know, just chatting about like life or whatever. We we're both telling each other how we want to start being nicer. Okay. Because at the time she was working at um, Super Shuttle and... And I think she was driving home from work one day and there was a hitchhiker on the road and <laughs> she just drove past them. So she felt bad about that. And then I was like, oh my gosh, no way. Cause I was working at KFC at the time and I was doing um, graveyard shifts and along Station Road, I drove past someone who was like walking home um, around, I guess around like 1 a.m. Um, and there was no one else around and <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, the same thing happened to me. I drove past someone that was walking home at like one o'clock in the morning and I did nothing. I just carried on and I just let them walk off. Like, you know what I mean? Like I didn't pull over or anything. Um, and so we we're both like, oh yeah, like maybe we should start being nicer. Like that's so mean. And we we're feeling f guilty about doing that to these strangers that we don't even know. Um, yeah so that's what happened we were talking about that the night before and then the, the day of the um gym session i went to go pick her up we went to the gym we died because our pt made us do shuttles up and down the car park bruh i was like wow you like your job too much <laughs> no we finished our gym session and you know, we had all those happy hormones running through our body. We we're consistent that week, so we were just we we're pretty happy. We we're so we we're pretty happy, and so um, we decided, oh yeah, let's go to Monaco Mall and grab like katsubi or like sushi or something healthy so that we can eat before we go to work. So that was the plan. Okay. Then after our gym session, then we go to Monaco as we planned, um, and then that's where everything turned to shit. We park right outside, um, like we park in the parking that is closest to the food court because obviously that's the only place that we're going in there. And we're like, okay, we're like laughing, chatting it up, having a good freaking time. Get out of the car. And then this man approaches us and he says to us like, oh, hey guys, are you able to help us? Um, I'm not from Auckland, but I have this check that I need to cash in because um, something went wrong with my work or blah 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 sp spilling this whole life story something went wrong at work and blah blah blah, blah. Um, but I need this check so that I can get home to my family and then I was like oh like what do you need from us and then he's like oh like I just need someone that has ID so that they can come in the bank with me and like sign whatever needs to be signed and then I'll be able to get my money um, and so my friend says no because she doesn't have her ID on her. And keep in mind, we just finished talking about being nice to people. Isn't that a joke? And so my friend says no because she doesn't have her um, ID on her. And so I have my ID on me. And what do I say? Can anybody guess what I said? I said, yeah, okay, sure. It's not going to take long, is it? And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not going to take long. We'll just be in and out. In and out is what he said. Why did I trust a stranger's word? You got me. <laughs> you really got me there. I don't know. I really don't know. Much. And so we follow him into the bank instead of going to get our food. We're waiting in line with this guy. Don't know who the hell he is. Um, we get to the bank teller and he he explains the story to her um and then she looks at me and she's like and you're gonna sign this and what did i say can anybody guess what i said i said yes i looked this lady dead in her eyes and i said yes i'm gonna sign it she slides the check over to me i look at her i look at the check 
I signed my little signing fucking signature. Just have a little snack break. This is my favorite dip, by the way, if anybody cares. Ice cream and onion soup. Mm. Every single time I dip into that. And I signed the check and the lady goes to the back. She's like, okay, no problem. I'm just going to um, go to the back. I don't know what the hell she said. So she leaves us waiting at the counter or whatever. And what do me and my friend do? <laughs> we are very much oblivious as to what is happening because I don't know. It was just not something that was on our mind or on our like radar at the moment i know i know how much a signature is important i know that now but back then i was just like do 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 stupid absolutely stupid the lady leaves us there me and my friend we're laughing it up we're on facebook we're on instagram all these memes me and her are just cracking up like i swear if anybody saw that footage it's just us over the counter scrolling and scrolling find something show her she shows me we both laugh that's literally it like that was all we were doing while we were reading there yeah the stranger man um he is he's standing like with us at first um and then he probably yeah he knew that something was up probably after like five minutes of like waiting for the lady he goes to sit down on those couches that are inside the bank so i see him do that and i'm like oh whatever like <laughs> whatever dude we don't know you and so me and my friend whole time laughing not thinking about a damn thing at least 15 minutes we were waiting there um waiting for the lady to come back and she never did bitch anyways i want to say it's like about it's like about 15 minutes that goes by lady still doesn't come back i'm getting hungry and then me and my friend like what the hell is taking so long like and the lady, like, we try and look over the counter, the lady's not there. And then my friend, she's like, oh my gosh, like, where's that guy gone? And then I was like, isn't he around the corner? I saw him go and sit on the couch. And then she went to go check if he was around the corner. Man's gone. Comes back and I was like, where is he? And she's like, he's not even there. And then I was like, are you sure? I went to go look. Yeah, he wasn't even there. And so then we were both questioning each other, like... If he's not there, then why are we still here? It's his check. We looked around again, didn't see the lady, didn't know what the hell we were doing. We were both hungry. And so we decided, I'll stuff this. Let's go to, um, let's go and eat because this is taking up too much time. Keep in mind, it's probably already been like 15 or 20 minutes. Me and my friend don't see the guy who owns the check. We don't see the bank teller lady come out from the back. We see nobody. So we're like, okay, like, why are we still here? And I was getting hungry and my friend was getting hungry too. And so she was like, oh, should we just go? So then we decided to go. So then we're walking towards the exit so that we could go to the food court. We were so close to exiting the bank and going into like the mall corridor area. We're so close to exiting. These cops come out out of nowhere and they're like, stop. And we, me and my friend are confused. We look at each other and we're like, are you talking to us? And he's like, yeah, go and sit down on the chair. Me being ultra silly, what do I do? I go and sit down on the chair because I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, um, I'm a brown girl. And these are, these are some white cops. What else am I going to do? Okay, I am going to go and sit down. And my friend, she's Pacific Islander, but she's lighter than me. She's like pretty white, to be honest. Um, and so I go and sit down and she looks at me and she's like, Shyla, don't sit down. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. My friend's telling me not to sit down. The cop's telling me to sit down. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I am so confused, to be honest. Bruh, I am scared. I don't know if they were doing like good cop, bad cop, but the bad cop guy, oh my gosh, he was so annoying. He was just so annoying. He was shouting for no reason. It's just like, bruh, we can hear you. Just talk normally. And we're like, we don't know. And then he's like, who is he? Who is he? We're like, we don't know. 
We don't know. We just met him in the car park. He's like, oh, you met him in the car park. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, we did. Like, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but we do not know this man. We do not know this man. My goodness. Um, the annoying cop is still asking us, where is he? Like, where is he? Where's the guy gone? We tell him the same thing over and over again. We don't know. He was sitting on the couch and then he disappeared. This is going back and forth. We tell him the same thing. We don't know where he is. He was on the couch and then he wasn't on the couch anymore. Like, you're not even listening. How did you meet this person? We told him we met him in the car park. Like, I know an adult really isn't going to believe us because it sounds like a lie. But honestly, it's the truth. It's the truth. We don't know. We met this strange man in the car park and now we're here. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't believe us because who would believe that? Like, yes, I know it sounds like a lie, but dude, it is the truth. Like, I do not know what to tell you. It is the truth. At some point, we end up in, you know, rooms in the bank where, like, you're having a private meeting or whatever. At some point, we end up in the in that room. The nicer cop, he, he explains to us that the check that I signed for um, is actually stolen. I think what happened was, was there were, like, multiple robberies or some shit that was happening. And so that check was a part of, like, one of the robberies. And so... <laughs> That's what I find for. So the nice cop was explaining that to us. Like, so, um, you guys are going to be arrested. And we're like, oh. we're like, what? And he's like, yep, you're, we're going to have to take you across the road to the station for questioning. So <laughs> they asked us, like, while we were together at the bank they were asking us the story and we explained the story met the guy in the car park went into the bank signed the check guy went on the couch same old thing we didn't know where he went we're hungry so we decided to go that's when they showed up that was a story that we told while we were together at the bank you know they're writing it down whatever whatever and then they're like okay well we're gonna have to um go across the road to get um statements off you guys and we're like oh really and he's like yeah it was like around 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning um at this time on a weekday can you imagine the kind of people that are th there at that time families more specifically islander family so he says that to us that like we're gonna have to go across the road he's like so do you guys have any questions and we're like um how long roughly is this going to take because we both have work so it was very much giving one phone call vibes um and who did we call we called our job we called our job <laughs> to let them know that we were not coming in that day and i asked him i'm like oh my gosh are you going to put handcuffs on us and he's like no we're not going to put handcuffs on you but we're going to have to walk back through back to the other side past all the families to get into the cop car and i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't believe we're both freaking out we're like what the fuck? i can't believe this is happening to us um and so my friend she was working with her her boss was her auntie at the time and yeah you can imagine how that convo went down that's what we did we we phone called our jobs to let them know that we weren't coming um that was embarrassing so i called my boss um and i was i think i was doing like a 12 to 8 or something and so I called her and I was like, I was like, she she was very much like work mom vibes. I I really liked her. Anyways, called her up and I'm like, Sapna. And she's like, hello. I'm like, Sapna, it's Shyla. And she's like, oh, hi, Shyla, how are you? I'm like, I can't come to work today. And she's like, what? You're supposed to start in an hour. What do you mean you can't come to work? And I was like, I'm at the police station. I'm being arrested. Oh my gosh, the embarrassment. Embarrassment. She's like, huh? Why are you being arrested? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm okay, but I can't come to work. Tell me why that was the phone call that we made. Oh my goodness. Um, And so yeah, we made our little phone calls and they walked us back through the bank. Um, And yeah, everyone was staring as you would 
as you would why are these two girls at 11 a.m on a weekday getting into the cop car the embarrassment was too much um and so they take us across the road like they said they would we get there they take our belongings and they put us into some in like the questioning rooms whatever honestly it was just it was so f boring in there like we were waiting for that long but it was just like oh like hurry up waited for the cop guy to come back in and question us again and we said the same thing again and i understand why it was so hard to believe because who would be that stupid me apparently me during questioning can you recall the um sequence of events that happened this morning da, 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 da. and so i said what happened exactly what happened um and then he's like and do you normally do this sort of thing and i'm like no i really don't i really don't and then so he's like um and so since you really don't or n not in those words but you know what i mean that kind of drift since you don't what possessed you to do that <laughs> to do that this morning and i was literally <laughs> literally i was like i was just trying to be nice shit man shit i was just trying to be nice and look where it got me came to the conclusion that they're gonna let us go the cop comes back into the room and he explains like oh we're gonna let you go but we're gonna keep the statements just in case um like they end up catching the guy and they need to use our statements or whatever the case was and then i was like what about my keys to the car i go how do we get back to monaco and then he's like well you're gonna have to walk back car is still where it is when we're leaving the room that we're in or whatever we go back they take our fingerprints they give our belongings back me and my friend are back together and then he also lets us know that you are now banned from um monaco mall for two years because of that incident and we're like oh my gosh so how do I get my car back? And he's like, well, you can go back and get your car, but <laughs> you can't go back there for two years. Um, and that was the second time that I got banned from Monaco. We're walking, like we're walking out of the police station and we're buzzing out, we're in shock. We're like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe that just happened and da 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 da. And I'm still hungry and oh my gosh. And like, we're replaying everything, everything, right? Like, she was telling me that when she was in the room with the cop, <laughs> And she was being questioned because it was my signature. The cop asked her, oh, does your friend normally do this kind of thing? And she's like, no, she doesn't. Like, this is the first, this is the first time. And then he's like, well, why, like, what made your friend want to do this? And then my friend had to explain to the cop that we were just trying to be nice. And that we literally had the convo of being nice the day before like literally and i was like oh my gosh the cop asked me the same thing what made me want to do this and i said the same thing sir i was just trying to be nice and so we're cracking up laughing so we walk our asses back to my car we're like oh my god like where are we gonna go where are we gonna go eat so we ended up going to Sylvia Park. The whole time we we're talking about what just happened. We couldn't believe what just happened. We put in the group chat what just happened with our friends. And my friend at the time, she was studying to become a lawyer. And we told her what happened. And she's like, what the? F are you two stupid? How stupid are you two? And we're like, yeah, obviously we are. Honestly, by the time we got out of the police station, um, we could still make it to work, but we're like, we're too in shock. We to Sylvia Park, we're chatting it up the whole time, and we get to Sylvia Park, right, because we're hungry. We're like, okay, like, let's just go, let's just go and eat, like, let's just go straight to the food court. If anyone comes up to us, like, we're not going to say anything, we're not going to do anything, we're going to, like, like, go by, okay? Mm -hmm. We're walking towards the food court. This lady, sorry lady, it just was not your day. Walking pretty fast, pretty fast. This lady comes up to us like this and she's like, excuse me girls, we both look at the lady and we're like, no. <laughs> we're like, no. And she's like, oh. I think she, I don't even know if she, I think she did finish her sentence. She, 
Oh my god, do we not even let her finish her sentence? We ended up going to the food court. We don't know what the hell we're gonna do. We both don't want to go home because we're scared to go home. So like, when we finally went home, of course we got the lectures of our life. So how I told my boss that day that I couldn't come to work and so I was going, I had work the following day and she was like, okay, like, tell me what happens, tell me what happened to you when you come to work tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, sure, I will. So anyways, it's the following day. It's the following day and I'm, I get to work and so she's like, Shyla, come in the office, tell me what happened. And so I told her what happened and she says the same thing as everyone else. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Shyla, I said, yes, I am dumb. I am stupid. Yes. Are you okay now? I'm like, yes, I'm okay now, but I am banned from Manukomo for two years. <laughs> and she's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then she's like, okay, well, get back on the floor. And then I was like, okay, sure, whatever. And so I was working um, and like drive through. one of our drive through policies is that we can't serve you if you're not in a car. If you're walking through the drive through we can't serve you. That's just, that's just basically safety policy, right? And so this lady, this old lady, she looks like a nana. And you know those, um, those trolleys that they have? So she was like dragging along her trolley or whatever and she comes to the window that I'm at. You know the, I did place your order. I'm at that window. And so I go to my manager and I'm like, Sapna, there's a lady in the drive room. And, I'm, and she's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, can I take her order? And she's like, no, you can't take her order unless she's in a car. You know this, this is policy, blah, blah. And I'm like, Oh, but she's an old lady and it's hot. Why can't I take her order? Can I just take it? And she's like, no, don't take her order. Tell her to come around and walk in the front. I'm like, oh, but she's already at my window. Going back and forth. I'm begging her to let me take this lady's order. And my boss, she's like, what happened yesterday? What happened to you yesterday? I'm like, I got arrested. And she's like, and what were you trying to do? I was like, I was trying to be no. And she's like, go and tell the lady to come inside the restaurant and order. And then I was like, okay, sorry, miss. You're gonna have to come inside the restaurant and order. <laughs> Please don't mind the state of me right now. I just got back from the Sean Kingston concert and showered and everything, and now I am editing the video. I also just wanted to add another reason why the cops probably didn't believe us when we said that we really didn't know this man was because when me and my friend were in the bank, this is, this is so freaking silly, but I'm pretty sure like everyone's done this before, but they're saying it, they're saying it in a mocking manner. So with the, the guy that we literally don't know, we're saying shit like, where did your uncle go? Where did your uncle go? Ooh, but that's your uncle. Yeah, we're saying shit like that. So maybe the bank tellers heard us say something like that, told the cops, that's probably why they didn't believe us when we said we don't know this man because we were at the counter laughing it up like, what the hell? Bitch, where's your uncle? Yeah, yeah. Also, another side note, another reason why me and my friend were also pissed was because that lady that f Okay, yeah, it's not her fault, whatever. But she knew that something was sus and they knew that that was the guy and he was sitting on the couch. So when he left, when he got up and he left the bank, you guys just watched him? Why would you not stop him? That's what, I was like, it was giving very much, are we being pranked right now? Is this really that serious? Like yeah. Anyways, yeah, those are just the <laughs> those are just the two things that I wanted to add. Yeah, that's it. Um, that is the story time of how me and my one of my best friends accidentally got arrested. It was quite a traumatic experience, actually. Um, my mom was like, Don't you know what your signature means? I'm like, oh, there's not nothing I could say. I just had to sit there and take it. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Where's my vodka?
sponsored by <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I hope everybody has a great rest of their week or weekend not sure when I'm gonna post this but um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.